is up my beautiful people welcome back to a new video i'm your girl adri montanez and if you're new here welcome to my channel so this video obviously was inspired by other people but i want to share with you my experience how and what i've been doing to escape the matrix so if you're somebody that gets consumed on your phone you're scrolling on tiktok or scrolling on instagram reels we're just there's always something right and it's just it's a lot you cannot help but not look so if you need somebody to help break that or you just feel like where do i start this video is for you so you want to get in today's video get something comfortable get you a snack get you some water get your chips it doesn't matter it's a no judgment zone i'm gonna help you what's helped me escape the matrix because i was really consumed once upon a time Let's get into it. So I said to myself, 2023, I want to put way more into myself. I feel like the last couple years I've been really consumed with just with social media. Like for me, I'm into the fitness world. So I have a lot of fitness content and I just get overly stimulated. And I feel like I get overly consumed where I'm constantly looking at other people's content. I'm saving the audio. I'm getting inspo from this. And it becomes so overwhelming to the point where you become so frazzled and it's just like, it's kind of like it turns you off at the same time. It's like you, you can never catch up because there's so much content now. And what's great, you guys, is that we're in this time where we can be as creative as we want. But I feel like this is also a great time for us to take back our power. We need to limit what we screen. We need to limit certain habits. So for me, I used to be obsessively always on Instagram Reels, 100%. And I noticed it more the last few months. So I was like, you know what? It was right before Christmas. I'm like, I need to get off Instagram. I need to get off of it for a while. It's totally healthy to get off of it because no matter how long you're gone, it's still going to be there. And I needed to just kind of get recreated for myself. So before I did this, I actually went through my Instagram. I actually deleted a bunch of people that I just was not consuming anything positive. If anything, it was triggering my anxiety or mental health. I just felt like this isn't healthy no more. Even if it was with people like I barely talked to, I just deleted, I unfollowed them. Like I just, for what? Like what am I getting out of it? If it's triggering, if it's not bringing me peace, it's not worth it, right? So I started purging like what I was consuming along with taking a step back and like really just reconnecting with myself. And one of the first things I'm gonna tell you is purge what you are consuming. And we all have that. We all have certain relatives, maybe it's certain friends or acquaintances or old co-workers or just pages or even celebrities. We're not consuming anything healthy from it, but it's like a toxic behavior. It's like a toxic habit. Just unfollow it. Start cleaning up with what you're consuming. Okay, that's number one. Number two, start being more present and with yourself. I used to be so bad, you guys, where I was, if I went on a vacation, I went somewhere, it's just like, baby, take my picture. Babe, take this. Or can you make sure it looks like this because I want to match this audio. I became so overly consumed trying to be a part of the storyline. And it's like, for what? I'm not even getting a check from it. Like, why am I overly consuming? I feel like I wasn't even being present in the moment. And I really decided to, I really started to like, even if I was to go somewhere, like my birthday's coming up. I don't know when I'm going to post this. But my birthday's coming up and I'm going to be turning 37. I was always having people film me or whatever and I was just like, you know what, I just want to be present in the moment, you know, I, I just feel like I've lost some of that and I feel like some of that stemmed from me just as a parent because I was always like videoing my child, taking his pictures, doing X, Y, and Z and then it just becomes this hamster wheel and I'm doing it for myself. To break that, I just started to just really just putting my phone down. So if we went out to dinner, if I wanted to take a photo of my dinner or if I look cute, like my man will take a picture of it or my girlfriend, but like we put our phones down and just engage with each other. You know, I love hanging out with my girlfriends. Um, I don't want to say exactly where she's at, but she's in Orange County and where she's at, they have a lot of beautiful views for restaurants and cafes. So it's like, I need to take in all that. Before it used to be like, let me video this, let me put this on my story. I'm gonna post it when I get home. Like it was always this repetitive, like getting sucked in. I'm like, for what? Like, why am I doing that? It got to the point where I was getting so annoyed and turned off with myself. You know what I mean? Because, and I feel like too, it's like my platform, my personal platform, like my Instagram, I lost it a few, I've lost it a few years ago due to censorship, you know? So I had to start over. So I felt like I was being really hypersensitive. I felt like I had to catch up with what I lost up on. I don't understand. But yet, like I look at my Instagram a couple years later and I honestly truly love it. Like I love the people that are on there. I like what I'm consuming. You know what I mean? Like I changed all of that. I changed my whole personal narrative. Number three is pouring back into you. How do I do that? 
Meaning, is there something that you want to put more focus in? But let's be real. We get caught up with scrolling. We have. I know I have. I, I, I'll i be on TikTok sometimes. I'm like, okay, I'm doing mindless scrolling for like 40 minutes when I could have been watching the movie with my significant other. But yet, I'm, I'm not because I'm over here looking at food ideas. I'm looking at workouts for this week. I'm looking at how to organize X, Y for the kitchen. Like, I did not know how to turn off my brain. And I'm sure you don't either, right? You struggle with that too. Pour back into yourself, meaning like if you want to put in towards something that makes you happy. Uh, for me, I already know what mine is. I don't want to say exactly what it is, but I was like, okay, even if it's weekly, I need to put at least an hour here, 30 minutes there. And I also want to go back into reading. You know, I don't want to just read like self-help books. I actually want to read something that's actually going to teach me something, which is going to lead me into the next one. So... Number three, I guess you could say, is pouring back into yourself is pretty much feeding what makes you happy. Is it pursuing a hobby? Is it, is it maybe starting your own website, but you just keep pumping the brakes on it or you get distracted with something else? Like, what is it? Everybody has something. We all have so many crafts. But we get caught up with what makes us money, right? Or what's convenient. Which leads me into my next one is educating yourself. What you mean educating yourself? Meaning learn something. Like, I want to be fluent in Spanish. So I'm like, okay, this year, Adri, like there's no reason from how much cardio and what I got to do. I could listen to Rosetta Stone for 30 minutes. Like I could do that. I need to put it back as a priority. I can multitask. You know, you have to do the same. What is something that you want to learn? Man, do you want to become more handy fixing things around your house so you don't have to rely on a man? Whatever. Like everybody has something. I know I do, but I'm too feminine. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pay a man to do that. Like, that's just me. But, like, for me, like, there's some things that I want to learn. But, like I said, what am I willing to do to put in for that? I feel like we get so focused with, like, healing, which is very important. That'll be in a separate video. But we also need to educate ourselves. Maybe you want to do more with social media. Maybe you want to do more with growing your business. Maybe you want to do... There's so many things. Maybe you want to look into getting, like, a real estate license real estate photography you just right it's got to be something so the camera got hot and i had to stop <laughs> luckily i'm almost done with this video but i want to say one more thing to include whether you're a spiritual person or you're non-spiritual whether you meditate whether you believe in god i feel like this is a really great time to recharge this spirit so for me i am a christian catholic i do believe in catholicism that's what aligns with my heart and soul i do believe in jesus christ i feel like i've stirred away from him i feel like i've just been talk i'll, I'll be honest i feel like i've been dancing more with the demons and just self-medicating with nonsense than actually feeding my spirit healthy you know do I eat a well-balanced lifestyle? Yes. Just because I don't consume certain toxic drinks or whatever or drugs doesn't mean I don't consume toxic and I have. Why? Because I'm human, I'm not perfect, and I have bad habits just like anybody else, and I have bad days and vulnerable moments. So I decided to dedicate and be more spiritually in tune with myself, meaning meditate in prayer, meditate in the morning and just give grace and humility that he woke me up and gave me a second chance. Sometimes what I've been doing too is depending on how my weekends are, instead of going to church on Sunday, I'll go Saturday night. I feel like it just kind of sets me in a different mental place. So Sunday, there's a little more less rush for me. And there's days that I feel like I'd rather go on a Sunday morning at 7 a.m. I feel like I'm like letting my heart and soul speak to him. Let him tell me what he wants for me. And I was like, whatever you want done let it be done according to your will you know but at the same time too i still have dreams and aspirations but i feel like i can't get there unless i'm putting into my relationship also with him again this is not to come at anybody religiously where it's like you need to do this no there's some people who don't believe but they do practice meditating or they do some type of a yoga or they do some type of something for themselves so anything that really aligns with your heart and soul really channel in the energy and put more into that relationship and I think you'll see more benefits even just with yourself on those struggling days you know I'm still open and vulnerable where it's like I struggle with anxiety and depression I, I have those depressional episodes I feel really lonely um, I've had those thoughts once upon a time postpartum suicidal I was there so I'm not afraid to be open and transparent about that but anyways, these are my tips to escape the matrix, creativity, report into yourself, be mindful of what you're consuming media because that also has an effect on you and also replenishing that spirit. Do not be afraid to put down the phone and be present in the moment.
you know back then like i grew up I, I grew up in the 80s and 90s like there was no cell phones i grew up watching kids incorporated with step by step full house you know i, I grew up watching 90s episodes saved by the bell you know there's nothing like that no more and i don't think it'll ever be like that again hopefully you found some inspo today with today's video this is just to show some encouragement and bring light that you can escape it and take back your power and what you've given into others into anything else that's consumed you that hasn't benefited you in a positive way so until the next video make sure you like comment subscribe and i will catch you on the next one